fuck. Doesn't get any easier, does it? As soon as you press record, it just fuck your whole mode changes. Um Hello, kia ora everybody. Uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a while since my last one. Uh, hope you're all doing super well. Fuck, I'm awkward, jeez. But yeah, I'm very excited to finally film today's video because uh, as you can tell by the title, it'll be a Q&A slash get to know me. Um, the other day I put up a thing on my Instagram, just, you know, that kind of thing where people ask you questions. Come on, dad, bro. Hey dad. No, I'm not working. Get Leah. Yeah, I'll get her. At three. Oh, okay. Today. Alright. Alright. See ya. Shot dad. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I've got a few good questions that I'm excited to answer. So... Yeah, and I've kind of, I've kind of ordered them in a way that kind of makes sense for the video because they're a bit random. There's a few random ones in here, uh, but yeah, um, I was gonna like fully like have my whiteboard with bullet points with like the answers on them and shit, but um, I just figured like, nah, I'm just gonna try and make up answers on the spot as best as I can, and uh, fuck, it's probably the bad decision, but. Uh, yeah, so let's get into these questions. First one here, um, how old are you? Where are you from? So I am 19 years old. Where am I from? I'm from uh, Hawke's Bay, small place here in Hawke's Bay, Hastings. It's very quiet here, you know, not not much happens here. It's a quiet place to live. It's, a, it's definitely a good place to like settle down, I guess. That's completely the opposite of what you want for some of my age, you know, you want to be go 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 and and one day I'll move but at the moment I'm living here in Hastings with my parents and yeah life is pretty pretty chilled at the moment uh, what do you do as in study or work firstly I don't study <laughs> at all I don't do any like form of study on the side like I said in my first video I just work um, part-time here in Hastings I work in retail so I work at a clothing store here in Hastings should I say that where I work? No, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, main inspiration with anything and everything. Main inspiration. Uh, if you're thinking like who is someone that inspires me, I would definitely say uh, Gary V. Um, Gary Vaynerchuk, he's definitely been a huge inspiration for me. Uh, if you don't know who he is, he's a, like a businessman, entrepreneur. Uh, he doesn't like to be called a motivational speaker, but that's mainly why people watch his content. He's definitely inspired me to just like, kind of just be myself and I'm still like learning to do that. Just be more comfortable with who I am and just like my personality and just, like, just don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. Um, it's kind of what he preaches. So he's been a insp huge inspiration for me to do what I want, do what brings me happiness, like what I enjoy doing. And that's why I love him, so he's just been a huge inspiration for me. If you're just talking like inspiration in general, um, what inspires me to just do what I do, uh, I guess it's just having that option to just better yourself, you know? Like, there's a bunch of things that we do every day that we don't need inspiration or motivation to do. Like, we just do them because we know we need to get them done. And for me, it's kind of that simple. Like, if I have stuff in my day that I need to get done, that I know I need to get done to be where I want to be, um, wherever that may be, um, then I'll do that. Having the opportunity to better yourself is enough inspiration for me to do what I need to do. Am I doing as much as I need to do at the moment to to be where I want to be? No, like, I'm not perfect, but I'm definitely getting better at it. And, yeah, Gary Vee has been a huge uh, reason for that. Interests and hobbies. I don't have much hobbies. I don't do something enough for it, for me to consider it to be a hobby. Like, I definitely have interests of mine uh, for a while now. Something I've been interested in is um, kind of working out like exercises and nutrition as well. Um, that's definitely been a big interest of mine and just how the body reacts to certain things and like, yeah, so working out nutrition, if you're thinking more hobbies, um, then I'd say like 
guitar. I swear everyone who gets asked that question is like, oh, I'll play, I'll play a bit of guitar on the side. But yeah, I, I actually enjoy playing guitar. Bit of guitar on the side, I'm not great, I'm not an expert. It's just something fun that I enjoy doing. Like me and the bro, we would muck around on the guitar every now and then, every now and then. So I really love spending time with my family. When I think back to like the best memories that I have, it's definitely with people who are closest to me. So I just love the times of my life where I'm able to sit down with family, we're all laughing, catching up and stuff like that. Um, I definitely love, so I don't know what that falls under, like interests or hobbies, but I feel like I just said it. <laughs> Working out, nutrition, uh, definitely interests of mine, hobbies, guitar and like spending time with family. Uh, next question, fuck a papa please. So for those of you who don't know, fuck a papa basically means like heritage or genealogy, like where you come from, who you descend from and stuff like that, but since I'm a plastic, no I'm not plastic, but like, oh kind of, but you know, I don't know that deeply into my own genealogy, or like where I come from, but I'll, I'll say my basic ass pepeha that you learned back in Kohanga, or back in primary school, ko kawirana ki tamanga, ko ngaruroro, rau ko tukituki o ki awa, ko takitumi te waka, ko mihiroa, kei paki paki te marae, ko ngāti kahungunu, rau ko ngāti rangi o ku iwi, ngāti mihiroa te hapū, ko puki puki tangi ora te tangata, and yeah. I know someone I know out there is just fucking cringing that I just did my pepe on camera, probably thinking bro, don't. What are your go-to songs to make you feel good? Uh, my go-to songs are any songs that like remind me of certain memories, that like certain good memories or songs that remind me of my childhood. Like for example, I really enjoy listening to like Sticky Fingers and like 660 and stuff just because they remind me so much of just like summer vibes and just that time of the year. That kind of chilled music I really enjoy. I like a bit of hip hop. I don't know like any specific songs really. I just, I listen to a bunch of different stuff like reggae, hip hop, some like old, real old uh, throwback jams as well. Who inspires your fashion slash style? The, what, what style? I've got like grey track pants and a grey jersey from Warehouse on. <laughs> if you would ask me back in like, 2014, 2015, who inspired my fashion the most, I'd say like Luca Fusco, he was definitely uh, someone I watched heavily. I really loved like, his stees and just how he dressed and stuff like that. If you don't know Luca Fusco then go look him up on my Instagram or something, but yeah his style was definitely something that <coughs> that I loved and then he stopped, he stopped like uploading that kind of content. So at the moment I'd say for someone who inspires my style would be Daniel Simmons. Daniel Simmons is a he's a Kiwi guy living in London and he he's a YouTuber as well. So he he makes like style fashion videos on YouTube and um, uploads that kind of stuff on Instagram as well and he's like his style is very much similar to mine. Mostly how I dress comes from is inspired by like how he dresses so he's very much like a minimalist when it comes to um, dressing like he's very simple like classy kind of dresser but yeah Daniel Simmons and just like anyone on I see on social media who dresses clean like just just looks nice you know like real tidy basic but I don't know how to explain it I, Mm, yeah, PAQ, like the guys from PAQ, they're pretty steezy guys, so yeah. I don't know, maybe I could like make more videos on that in the future, I don't know, I don't know. You feel lucky or privileged enough to share your birthday with anyone in particular? Um, 9th of December. You know, um, privilege is, it's a big word bro, I wouldn't use that word, I'd say a more accurate word would be embarrassed, you know, I'm quite ashamed to share my birthday with this person. You know, no, the J Flop, December Boys. What did you do when you finished school? I finished school back in 2017. Like I said, I didn't go into study. Like really, last minute, I changed my mind about study, and I went through the whole process of filling out applications, looking at universities, and then I just decided last minute that I wasn't ready. Like my last year at high school was terrible um, in terms of my like work ethic and 
completing work and like studying and all of that it was just I had a mental some mental block that was I wasn't just able to work as efficiently as I used to so I decided that I wasn't ready to go away and study and do that for another like three years so I decided to go into work and kind of take a gap year people that's what they call it ends up being a gap life but yeah I decided to take a gap year and I went straight into working and the first proper job I had out of high school was I thinned apples I went straight into the orchards and I was thinning apples and I did that for a couple months and I did that with a couple of bros, Josh, who saw my Wellington video, and one of the other bros, Sammy, who's studying down in Wellington now. And we thinned apples uh, pretty much five days a week for a couple months, and that it gave me a bit of, you know, like pocket money, and I was able to like put money aside for, from that as well, which was good. And then, yeah, that was what I did straight out of high school, working in the orchards. And I don't like, I don't regret not going away to study like I wasn't ready and I still I'm still glad I made that decision because I feel like for anyone who decides to to go straight into work out of high school now you might disagree with this but just in my opinion I feel like you get a kind of a head start on just life and just just normal life stuff making money paying bills paying your way to you know get by you kind of get to experience those earlier than people who go away to study and don't really have that lifestyle. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the decision I made um, because, you know, university's not for everyone, obviously. And like, with what I'm doing at the moment, just working and stuff, like, I have a lot of freedom. I don't have much responsibilities. Like, my life is really, it's really easy at the moment. I'm quite fortunate for that. I'm quite lucky. So if I decide if I want to save a bit of money and go traveling, then I can do that. Like, I don't have much hold I don't have much things holding me down what is your training schedule man feel like that would be interesting as fuck uh, so my training schedule I won't go into this in too much like into too much detail just because like, hopefully I can implement that kind of content more into this channel but uh, just really quickly my training schedule so I train four days a week and how I split it up is I go Monday arms and core Tuesday I do chest and shoulders uh, Wednesday is my rest day, uh, Thursday I do legs and a bit of glutes and then Friday I do back and a little bit of arms as well. That's my training week so train four days a week and then after each of those sessions I do a cardio session as well just like incline walking. Some people don't consider that cardio but for me like I consider it cardio and I have been kind of doing that for the past nine months ish. So still pretty new to it, still learning and stuff like that but yeah I'm enjoying it. Heaps of fun. What is your diet? Uh, again, this is I can make a whole separate video on this, but uh, at the moment I'm not following any like specific diet like keto or paleo, or whatever the fuck. At the moment I am tracking my calories or my macros. So I track all the food that I, all the food that I'm eating um, every day or most days. Anyway, I kind of eat the same thing. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna interrupt that clip uh, just because I felt like I could have given a bit more detail on that answer But like I said, I am counting all the calories so I track all the meals that I'm eating But what I forgot to mention, which is pretty important, why I do that is making sure um, I am in a calorie deficit, so eating less calories than I'm burning um, And I guess you could say my diet is, I pretty much follow flexible dieting That means I don't like cut out any food group, just eating whatever kind of but making sure I'm in a deficit so that doesn't mean I go out and fucking munch on a bunch of shit um, I definitely don't I'd say my diet is about 60% clean and 40% just I won't say junk but like just other stuff just to satisfy me um, but for the most part I eat clean and I keep my diet consistent so yeah back to the video if you guys want, I can make like a full day of eating or something, like a video like that. Um, in the future, like I can make a whole separate video on my diet and why I eat what I eat. And yeah. How does it feel to be the Maori PewDiePie of YouTube? <sighs> far from it, bro. Um, but no, nah, it feels good. <laughs> um, but yeah, far from it, bro. Far from it. Art video. Um, oh, yeah, some of you may not know, but like. <clears throat> back in high school, I would, I was heavily into my art. If you would have asked me back in the day what something that took up the majority of my time uh, would be art. 
it became a bit like overboard how much time I was spending doing my art and the boys would come around and like ask me to go chill with them or something I'd be like nah bro I gotta stay here and do my art I'll be like stuck on my desk just doing art I had late nights doing my artwork and stuff but nah bro like I haven't done art since high school no painting no drawing or anything but if I do find that interest for it um, or enjoyment for it again then I'll definitely share that on here definitely make some videos but yeah at the moment uh, I don't think I'll be doing any art anytime soon yeah if I lose that kind of skill or talent or whatever then like, I'm not gonna complain about that it's my fault uh, what's your plans for the future Jeez, I am 19 and if I'm honest I have no idea my plans for the future if you're talking career wise I have no idea what I'm gonna do I think there's people like in their 30s or 40s who don't know what they're gonna do um, so like I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself to figure that out just yet what I will say is like hopefully whatever I do find or whatever I do end up doing um, hopefully it's something that I genuinely love doing like something that <clears throat> I'm not doing just for the just for the money or something that I'm not doing you know just just cause of the career that I decide to pursue requires me to go and study or get a degree or whatever then I'll do that but um yeah I don't know <laughs> I have no idea uh, this next question is a bit this next question is a bit out there isn't it? Uh, who would you rather root your cousin for five years having everyone know or know your uncle is your dad but no one knew um let's so. second one I would say wait have my uncle as my dad but no one knew or root my cousin for five years and everyone knew it's like a it's an easy decision for me like fuck I'd have my uncle as my dad and no one like uncle is my dad like that has nothing to do I have nothing to do with that you know <laughs> That was out of my control, you know, I was just brought into this world and here I am, you know, that says more about my dad or my uncle and my... <laughs> and the fact that no one knows about it too, like, fuck. Can't believe I just thought about it that much. Um, yeah, that second one, bro. You freaky fuck. Uh, favourite childhood memory? Uh, I don't have many, like, there's not one memory that sticks out much. Uh, just like moments in my childhood that I think back to that I'm, I look back and think fuck that was a good time. Like me and my family, like my big family, uh, back in the day when I was like five years old I think we went to the South Island, I think we went to Queenstown but we went on a skiing trip and that was like, that's, those are one of the best memories that I have like we have family videos of it and it's just like there was a time when it was like we were young, it was just cool man, like, everyone, like my parents, my uncles, we were all young and we were just still, like, all together. We haven't had that big of a gathering together in a long time. Like, we catch up every year for Christmas and stuff, but like, that time was really cool. Haven't seen you since MYL camp, but patiently waiting for you to release your art. Uh, thank you. But yeah, no, there's heaps of people I haven't seen since um, that MYL camp but, oh so MYL was a camp that I went on at the beginning of my last year at high school it was just like a leadership camp or whatever yeah that was a rough time of my life like it was pretty I'm like I was pretty unhappy at that time so that can be a different story time or whatever but uh, yeah there's a lot of people I haven't seen since that um, not planning on doing any art anytime soon um, not new pieces anyway but I would definitely be up to sharing pieces I've done in the past like I have some pieces here that I could show you guys um, at some point if you're interested um, who are your role models thinking of it a bit differently kind of like people who I come across that are like genuinely kind loving people you know just good people I definitely look up to like if I cross paths with you at all if I have an interaction with you and I can just see that you're a good kind loving person um, then I'll remember you like I that kind of thing just has that effect on me anyone like who's just a good person good nature you know I definitely look up to um, so that's a bit of a different answer for that one what do you want to gain or get out of YouTube um, so like I said in my first video why I started YouTube was I guess I just felt I had something to share yeah, I just wanted 
somewhere where I could like share my thoughts and perspective on things and then something to do, something fun to do on the side I guess, but what I want to get out of it, I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit too early to say, um, but I'm hoping that I'm able to provide some sort of value to at least one person out there. Hopefully I can help um, someone or encourage someone to just like be themselves, like fuck not care what anyone thinks. Just do your thing, you know? Like hopefully I'm able to have a, you know, positive, like as cliche and as fucked as it sounds like. Hopefully I can have a positive effect on someone's, you know, someone's life. And hopefully I'm able to help someone just do what they want to do. Um, with YouTube as well, I love, like for as long as I can remember, I've been watching so much YouTube. If I could, I'd just sit there for hours just watching YouTube videos. I found it interesting how people go about their lives, how they do certain things, how like, you know that those type of videos, like day in a life, how they go about their day, what food they eat, why they eat it, you know, and they just share their life. And seeing that people were interested in that, I thought to myself, man, I, it'll be cool to share what I do, what I get up to as well, and hopefully I could provide that sort of, I guess, escapism um, for someone else too. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like hopefully one day I'm able to build a large, larger audience on here and to kind of reach out to as many people as I can. But yeah, my goal is hopefully I can help at least one person just do their own thing and just, I don't know, be happier. Or even if you're just like bored and you just wanna watch me or you have nothing else to do, then that'll be cool as well, like, I don't know. But yeah, that is all the questions that I able to get through. <laughs> no, that's all the questions that I got. <laughs> Fucking hell. Thank you to everyone that sent through questions. I enjoyed making that video. I enjoyed answering those questions. But yeah, hopefully you know a bit more about me, kind of who I am and stuff. Um, yeah, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um, then please click the like button. It'll be highly appreciated. And if you have any ideas for any future videos or if you just want to leave some feedback, then please comment down below or flick me a message on Instagram. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, just pokey pokey tongue order then. No, that's it. <laughs> no, I'm filling up something. Yeah. Alright. See ya. That is me calling my mum because I don't know my own people here. Well, I do, I just can't sit in ages. Shit.